Good morning from Coronado Springs. It's our last full day flight home tomorrow. We're off to Hollywood Studios. We've got three brilliant fast passes to kick us off, and then we're going to Animal Kingdom. Then we'll see where life takes us. And we woke up this morning with this on our door. I don't know if you can see it. It's our Magical Express transportation notice. So this will be all of our details. That's uh, gives us our times and things like that for the the bus back to MCO. We've not opened it yet. Hopefully it doesn't say like 6 o'clock tonight or something. Um, <laughs> sure it won't. Our flight's not till, I think it's midday tomorrow. So despite me saying that it didn't seem too busy, Slinky Dog Dash is still 115 minutes wait. That's the standby time. Superbly well done. It's so immersive. You genuinely do feel like you're the size of a toy and you're in Andy's backyard. The rides are good. I mean, Toy Story Mania is a classic anyway. Slinky Dog's an excellent addition to the park. Swirling Saucers is what it is. It's totally fine. It's a great little uh, filler. I wouldn't queue all that long for it though. It's a really short ride. Um, and kind of once you've been around once or twice, you, you're kind of done with that. Um, but yeah, all in all really good. Woody's lunchbox too, we ate there the other day. Food was lovely. Um, just nice to have something kind of normal and basic <laughs> for lunch instead of some fried. So I had a turkey sandwich. Really, really enjoyed it. So we're going to head for an early lunch last breakfast. We'll call it brunch. Uh, and we're going to get some pizza rizzo. Because we've got so many quick service credits left, I'm going to try and buy someone lunch. Um, because <laughs> we can transfer them to snacks, but we've only got so much case space. And uh, we bought some snacks last night, and <laughs> I don't think we appreciated how heavy they would be. <laughs> They're really, really heavy. So, yeah. So, hopefully, we can get a re random act of kindness here and buy somebody lunch. So, we're in Pizza Rizzo, and we're buying this lovely couple here some lunch off of our dining plan. We hope they enjoy. So well, we've just bought two people lunch and we're just waiting on our own. So yeah, I think we've got rid of what, five snack credits there? Probably. Yeah. Well, that's good, it's nice to buy people lunch. I would like people and to do that for us. Yeah, they were all delighted, exactly. And I hope they enjoy it. Lauren's favourite, pizza rizzo, gluten free pizza, Lay's chips, Diet Coke. I've gone for just a plain cheese today. I've got myself a packet of Lay's. So we're having just a, a wee little break on Pizza Rizzo because it's nice and cool and it's really hot outside today. Lauren's doing her vlog for it's Orlando time. She's not quite finished her pizza. And I am sitting here just enjoying the peace 
for the moment. How's your blog going? Quite She's long. <laughs> quite long, is it? She's all. We did it three parts. So. Three parts. Oh. oh yeah, we did. That's true. She's feeling quite chuffed for herself too because she put up a picture of her rose gold bag she bought, and so far it's had 300 likes on it since the time. So. She's just feeling quite chuffed, don't you? I get like three on a vlog, but I yeah, think we've <laughs> So if the rumours are true, that could have been our last pizza rizzo. There's all sorts of chat that this restaurant's to close at the end of October. So this is days are numbered because uh, we're now at the 15th, so once the holiday spells out the way in October, could be uh, see you later pizza rizzo. It's very close to Galaxy's Edge, so it could be that we get something that's themed to Star Wars, but it's still in Muppets Courtyard, so who knows? Who knows what the plan is? But if it was the last Pizza Rizzo, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Just a little side note on Pizza Rizzo, just with the way that Hollywood Studios is going, could this be about to become Pixar Pizza maybe? Who knows? This time next year we'll be walking through that gate into Galaxy's Edge. I'm sure there'll be a lot more people walking down this path than there is at the moment. Cannot wait. So we're heading on down into Fast Pass number 3 for the day and it's only just 1 o'clock. Rock and Roller Coaster. So I'm literally just off of Rock and Roller Coaster. I uh, had a Fast Pass but I waited for the front. Uh, I would definitely do that again. It was, it was amazing, like I just rode that roller coaster in a whole new light. <laughs> it's like riding it for the first time. It was so good. So Laws, where are we heading now? Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom to conquer Everest. So we have arrived eventually at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We left Hollywood Studios about 45 minutes ago. We had 40 minutes on a bus. So yeah, not the greatest and it's like the hottest day ever. So it's kind of dented our plans a little bit but we've got a fast pass in 10 minutes for finding Nemo so we're heading on up there first. Nemo. Nemo. We can name one Nemo. But I'd like most of them to be moral and you. <laughs> what was that? Get inside the coral. No, coral, don't go out there. Leave it alone. Coral. No. Oh, Daddy's got you. I promise I will never let anything happen to you. Nemo. First day of school, Nemo. We're ready to learn, <laughs> to get some knowledge. Now what's the one thing we remember before we head out from here? The ocean's not safe, so we have to check if the coast is clear. Right. We go out, then back in. And then we go out, and then back in. <laughs> and one more time, out, and then back in. And sometimes, if you want to do it four times. Come on! Okay. Hey Dad, hey Dad, wouldn't it be cool if I maybe met a shark while I'm in school? No. Or an angelfish, is it true that they have wings? I don't think so. Can you believe there are so many things in a big blue world? I'm gonna go explore in a big blue Not our friends, Nemo. Haven't you seen Jaws? What? You don't want to meet a swordfish. You don't want to meet a whale. You want to meet a whale? Meet me around to watch your tail. In the big blue world, you're just a little fish. Dad. In the big blue world, now we seem to take. 
tasty dish No, I so much to me I don't know what I would do In this big blue world If something should happen to you No need to worry, Dad, I'll be okay Scared you'll end up as a clownfish fillet. <laughs> we can turn right around. Maybe yeah, we can wait one more here. Don't be so boring, Dad. Kids, we call it his lucky fin. Oh, let's name the zones, the zones, the zones. Oh, let's name the zones of the open sea. Mr. Ray! Climb aboard, explorers. Who's this? I'm Nemo. Uh, he's got a little fin. I find if he gets tired, just give him a break 10, 15 minutes. Dad! Hurry, we're gonna travel as a group. Nemo, you're such a special kid. Want me to come with you? I'd feel better if I did. Remember everything I told you. Dad, I'll be alright. Come on, Lord Explorers! Hold on tight. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Really ready? I don't think I'm ready. We're ready to go. to the drop-off. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, you gotta let him go sometime. The drop-off! Fish are free. Fish are free. Fish are free. No, no we have no sharp teeth. We're not sharp Sunday me. We know that fish are friends are true. Sometimes we know. So we could eat you out. But we have self control. We know that fish are friends, not food. But I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> hey! Watch this! Boing! Boing! Uh, uh, Dory, Dory, I have an idea. A game. Oh, game! First one now of the jellyfish without touching the tentacles wins. Ready, set, go! Let a little fast if you wanna win! Skate swimming! Life isn't always real! Skate swimming! Yeah, skate swimming! What do we do? We swim!
spring? Chili man. Jellies. Cool. Show me your 360 squirt. Check this out. Whoa. 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 Oh my goodness. Just go in the flow. Come out finding Nemo the musical. I absolutely love it. Big musical theatre fan anyway, but it's just so well done, so clever. Lauren, what did you think? Yeah, it's so good. I love so it. good. Go home singing the songs now. And in the distance there, you see Everest. It's my next port of call. So I'm just about to head on to Expedition Everest, but I've got a fast pass that allows me and four other people through because uh, the ride broke down the other day when I had my normal fast pass, so might do another wee random act of Disney kindness and ask a couple of people out of the standby line to join us because it's a 55 minute wait. See if we can't make someone else's day today. So I've just come off of Expedition Everest, it's absolutely incredible. Loved it so much and with the pass that I was given I managed to get a family of five on with me. So it should only have been five people, but I got a family of five plus me which was amazing, so that saved them waiting in a 50 minute queue. So yeah, spreading a little bit of Disney magic. Last ride that we're going for though is Primeval World. Managed to get a little fast pass for that, so I'm heading there now. Gutted, but it is so hot. So we need to go and have a shower before we go for dinner. Which, by the way, now we are going to uh, Raglan Road in Disney Springs, which we love. So that is the plan. I'm sure there are people in costumes. They're so like light, they're so human. So cute. Just hanging out, monkeying round. So if you're a Coca-Cola fan and you're an Animal Kingdom, come to Drinkwalla, which is just over the bridge in Asia, and you can get frozen Coca-Cola, which is absolutely perfect for a hot day like this. And it's totally delicious. It's one of my favourite things. Not been here yet this whole holiday, so stopping in. But you can also get it with uh, rum, and all sorts, Captain Morgan's or coconut rum for $10 or $9.50, so it's not a bad little deal. Uh, however, the frozen ones are, are on the dining plan, so that's where, that's how I'll be getting mine. It's amazing. You gonna get one yourself, Lauren? Yeah, it's so hot today, isn't it? I think this is probably the hottest day. After yesterday, I was getting all cocky, thinking it was nice and cool. Today, the sun has come back to bite us in the bum. But these cokes are like freezing. They're not real. No, they're not real. <laughs> it's part of the theming. So this is my frozen Coca-Cola. Alon's got her almonds in there. What are they? Caramel coated. Caramel, yeah. Caramel coated almonds. Oh, nice. Lovely. Yeah, we're just gonna take five in the heat and enjoy our snacks. Heading into Dineland for the last ride of the holiday. Prime Evil World, which I've never been on before, so make the last to first. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Let's top I can keep my frozen coke down. It's time to go prehistoric. Prime Evil World. Lauren's holding the camera.
Goodbye, Tree of Life. So part two, our last day, we are on our way to Disney Springs and we're going to Raglan Road. We have arrived at Raglan Road. Our starters have arrived. Lauren got some gluten free onion rings. And I got some prawns. I can't remember what they're called now. What were they? Anyway, they're prawns in like a lemon sauce with uh, some toasted baguette. And our mains have arrived Lauren's chicken. And my steak, which was not what I was supposed to have. They ran out of the braised beef, which was what I was going for because it's a Sunday. But it does look very nice. This has just finished at Raglan Road. How was it, Lauren? But, yeah, it was really good. It was yeah, nicer than... I'm glad it was nice because the service was good. Yeah, the service wasn't great. I don't know how much you heard of that. But uh, yeah, the service wasn't particularly great, unfortunately. We uh, got a table pretty quickly, but then we waited about 20 minutes on ordering our drinks. Then about another 10 minutes maybe on ordering our starters. Uh, then... then for the drinks to actually come. Yeah, so we had to get a server. Yeah, we actually had to prompt them. It wasn't particularly busy either, was it? So when the food came, it was actually really, really good. However, I ordered the braised beef, and uh, the manager came over and said that they didn't have it. So he offered me uh, anything else I wanted on the menu, and he would reduce the different difference. So I went for the steak, <laughs> as if I've not had enough steaks on this holiday. Yeah, we got 50% off of it, which was good, so. But the food was really, really nice, and the atmosphere is great, and we've had a really good experience in there in the past, but um, tonight, it just, I don't know, the service wasn't great. But we've just been into uh, Candy Cauldron at Disney Springs, exchanging some of our quick serve meals for snacks, and we just bought, well, we just walked out of there with $117 worth of snacks in the bag, and we still have 14 quick service meals to go. 14. But you get 14. Three snacks for one quick service meal. Yeah. So we've still got 14 times of Wow. 36 snacks. Unless we can buy somebody lunch tomorrow again. Yeah. So this shop as well is somewhere else that you can exchange your quick service meals for chocolate. Get more chocolate. We don't even eat that much chocolate. So let's have a look in here. Mrs. Matruvi's off. Oh, thank you. Taster. It's going right in my mouth. Mmm. Raspberry. Do you know what? It smells incredible in here. Okay, so I'm exhausted. We're leaving the chocolate shop with the equivalent of six snack credits. No, sorry. We're leaving the shop with the equivalent of six quick serve meals which totaled $110 of chocolate. This is crazy. Like I honestly do not know how we're gonna get all this stuff on tomorrow. Who needs Mickey's not so scary? <laughs>